Kenya ameshikwa Kinyama ki, kama vile mheshimiwa hapa ameshikwa so we are come to here is matter and we are just about to get into court ndio tukaona eh mheshimiwa Mike amezingirwa na i don't know county or inspector officers eh, na wengine and then kumbe walikuwa wamekuja wakaka magari zao strategically and then all of us are forced to unajua hatujui nini so along the way out of that mali ndio na mheshimiwa Mike hata mpaka ametoa nguo kila kitu kila kitu yeye ni mwenyewe umekuwa hapa so then mheshimiwa Mike unashindwa askari wamejaa hapa hii ni court mama sisters wako hapa and then this is taking place here in the full glow of the public surely I cannot tell what it is. This will be the utmost of stupidity. I will just call it in ujinga uliganism. Hata wakati tunyaka tunazosema the dark ages. This has never been witnessed in this country. This is a list we expect of any any civilized institution. Mostly tuko kotini. Na what it is actually it is actually illegal. Hata askari hazi kushikia hapa kotini. Ukitoka hapa kama askari hata unashikwa unashikwa nje ya court. But they come to the unaona public one they want to break into the public to come and rescue. I just want to say this is we cannot even it's actually unbelievable. I cannot even believe it myself. Hii maneno ilianza na mimi. Imekuja kwa huyu. Imekuja kwa wengine. Wacha iendelee. Wacha iendelee. It is okay. But let me tell you if hata wakivunja mheshimiwa Mike, na wachukua wewe, Mike wengine watahamuka. Na watahamuka kwa wengi na watakuwa watakuwa pia watakuwa na nguvu zaidi kuliko Mike. Mm. This is very unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. But we tutaenda mpaka mwisho. Sasa sasa hakuna shida. Wameenda watakuja na watakuja tupate. I don't know why they had wait for him wakoti. So angemshika na tumekuwa kule nje. Hakuna mtu anaogopa kushika. So long as una makosa unashikwa, una na mbele ya koti. Na ukienda mbele ya koti unajibu mashtaka yako. Sasa kwani what is the problem? Kwani hapo kuna mtu akona nje yake? Shule ya Kenya imekuwa kama namna kama mwanaweza ataendea mwezi mzima kama huyu. Je, je tena koti? Je mwananchi mimi anatoa nguo mpaka mnaona ina wea ina wea mheshimiwa. Je, nyinyi mwananchi yenu itakuwa namna gani? So nyinyi mwacheni sisi wenyewe tutatezeka. Yenu itakuja. It is time now everybody now wakes up. Kila mtu aamke na mjue what kind of a government we are having here. Nyinyi mnaweza ona. It is not about business any longer. It is not about license. Mnadanganywa. Mheshimiwa Douglas hapa anaambiwa bado biashara. Anaambiwa Douglas hapa kwake alikuwa anajenga hana makatazi. Makatazi ni hapa tumeleta kotini. Wanataka tufanye ni namna gani? Mimi walikuwa wananiambia sina business permit nimeleta hapa. Zote nimeleta. What else do we, wanataka tufanye nini? What do they want us to do? Ati tufanye tunyamaze. Na mdomo kazi yake ni nini? kazi ya mdomo ni nini si ngula na kuongea mm. alafu tutaongea mpaka mwisho kosi yes ndio amekuja kosi yes hata kwa majina alafu tueleze aswa nini imefanyika tumeona drama na madhara sasa huko yuko hapo kodi atende kazi kwa majina kwa majina anaitwa Douglas Musyoka mimi ni MCA aliyechaguliwa ward ya Masi katika kaunti ya Machakos e, leo nimekuwa kotini kuja kujibu mashtaka nimeshikwa jana katika nyumba yangu na nikaambiwa nilijenga boma yangu yenye naishi kama sina zile authority za county government nimekuja nazo kotini na muda mchache tu kabla koti iketi nikiwa hapa nje ya koti na wawakili zangu nimeona waheshimiwa wenzangu wamekuja mheshimiwa wa Mua amekuwa hapa mheshimiwa wa Mudhene nimekuwa naye hapa mheshimiwa wa Kivaa na mheshimiwa wa Kalama na ile wakati ambao tumesimama tukijadiliana nje ya koti goja keti iketi ndio nimeona ofisa wa county na gari nyingine ikuja imebeba guns wenye wana uniform na hata mimi siwatambui so wakakuja huyu ofisa mmoja wa county ndio wakuja akashika mheshimiwa wa ma... wakalama mateka na akamwambia wewe ndio unataka saa hizi unaanza wakajaribu waza kumvuruta niweza tumevurutana kidogo wapata kuna mshike mshike wakamchapa sana mheshimiwa mpaka amekanyangwa mguu na gari ya county government akajaribu kufinywa ingizo kwa gari cha lazima lakini tumekataa na e, ila mheshimiwa ameumia na wakati huu tunapoongea amepelekwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Chakos Police Station ndio aandikiwe na aende aweze kwenda hospitali. Hii maneno tu inaendelea ni ile waheshimiwa wanaongea na ile kitu mimi naweza sema ni kumomba tu gavana wa Vinya. Ile maneno sisi tunayainua sauti ni ile maneno iko valid na ile yenye iko genuine. Jana umeona umeona barua zimetambaa kila mahali kwamba ICU yetu katika Machakos level 5 imefungwa na imefungwa kwa sababu ya kukosekana kwa zile zile be, 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 vitu mufti zenye zinatumika katika matibabu pale ICU. Na ukiuliza wale maofisa wa hospitali pale wanasema wameambiwa hakuna pesa yote ambayo inaweza ku maintain ICU size. Kuulizia tunaambiwa pesa ilichukuliwa 40 million kutoka kwa hazina ya hospitali ikatumika kwa vitu ambazo hata hatujui ni nini. So ndio tunauliza tu awajibike afanye kazi yake na kila mtu afanye kazi yake. Kazi ya MCA ni kufanya kitu inaitwa oversight. 
na hizi ndiyo macho ya wananchi na tutakoma tutaongea na tutazidi kuongea ndio kila mwananchi wa machakos ajue nini inaendelea hapa asanteni